This is a quick video that will help you navigate through Paliscan if you have not opened the software in a while. Let me walk you through the software. Once you have a project open, you can see all the data in the project browser. So if we open up the drop down menu, you will see. In this case, we're going to keep with volume. Let's open up. Uh, in here, you can see uh, seismic, you can see attributes and geo models. To open up any data from the data tree, you have to double click on it. In this case, I'm going to double click on seismic three times because I want to visualize and display inline, cross line, and time slice. To change to a time slice or a cross line, you just have to click on the active window and change it. In this case, inline. And then we're going to do time slice. As you can see, my windows are unorganized. If I want to tile them, navigate through window and then click on tile. And then they will appear tile. Another thing that I like to do when I'm visualizing seismic is to synchronize all the cursors and have all the lines intersecting on the display. To do that, go to Tools and go to Settings and make sure that all the viewers have the cursors visible. And you will have that option. To navigate through the seismic, use the mouse wheel. Move it up and down. You can see here that the lines are moving in the inline and time slice. And if you would like to change the step, you can go to Volume Manager and increase the step. To zoom in, what you have to do is in the active window, press the right click and then move the mouse up and move the, the mouse down if you want to zoom out. As you can see here, I'm just zooming in the cross line. But if I would like to synchronize to have the same aspect ratio when I'm zooming in the cross line and in line, what I have to do is uh, in the keyboard, press Alt and drag it to the in line. And time slice. So whenever I zoom in, I will have it uh, synchronized. To change the color bar, what you can do is go to color bar and change it. Pick the one that you like. If you want to have the same color bar every time that you open up that uh, volume again, you should assign the color bar. Uh, you can see it uh, there, that option. And if you want to use the same color bar for the inlines and time, time slice, use the Alt from the keyboard and drag it. And you will have the same color bar. One aspect that is important to mention is that every time that you have the window active, you have several options in the display. For example, you can change the color of the intersection lines uh, for the in lines and time slice, but there are several options. Also, you can calculate attributes on the fly. I'm here uh, using an example of um, time gain, and there are some parameters that you can modify, but you can use other uh, attributes like envelopes, etc. Let me change back color bar. A very useful tool is our cross navigation button. You can press uh, from the keyboard the letter G and it's going to be a yellow dot that it allows you to go through all the volume. So if you move that dot, uh, then you're moving the in lines and the time slice and you can move it everywhere. You can select it in the time slice, in the in lines and it quickly allow you to move to another place where you want to go in the seismic. Lastly, I want to mention that every time that you want to perform an operation in Paleoscan, you go to this menu where you can select uh, by the functionality what you want to do. For example, in Horizon Stack, then you can create a new Horizon Stack, etc., etc. But you have the options for other for example, volume, etc. Thank you for your attention. If you have questions, email us at support at elise.fr.